So this week's Ask Dr. Nikki comes from fake name Jenny. So Jenny says, Dear Dr. Nikki, I'm 43 years old, recently divorced and want to get back in the dating game, but finding it really scary and intimidating. The last time I was dating, there was no such thing as Tinder and it feels like all the rules have changed. Do you have any help and advice? Um, now, this is another really common question I get asked all the time. We are seeing a lot of people going back into the dating world after having many years of marriage and things have changed. You know, everything seems to be different and because of that, it can feel daunting. My biggest advice to you is don't be scared. Especially as a woman, I feel like this has created so many more opportunities. And for people in general, we're able to be more honest and straightforward with what we're wanting if you are going into the app world. And that can be done even just by what app or what website you use or what you say that you're looking after and who you are. It used to be having to go around and meet people and be at bars and no one ever knew who was actually single or if we were just flirting with someone else's husband or wife. So, you know, we have to actually be thankful that we have this avenue where we can sit at the comfort of our home and start to say to people who we are and what we're looking for. Now, the best advice I can give to you is also practice dating. You know, don't go out there with this intent of having to find somebody straight away, that that first date you have to work out whether that is going to be right for a relationship with you or not. This is really about getting your training wheels again. Go out on dates with people that just interest you. And even being in that mindset, you might be surprised what happens. You never know if there is a connection there. But the key is, is that whether it is being set up, whether it's meeting people, whether it's looking at apps, find one thing that you look at that person and think, hey, that'd be a good dinner conversation or they look like they'd have good banter and see how you go. And if you feel nervous, be honest about that because everybody has their own quirky way where they get nervous and something comes out. Maybe you shut down, maybe you're a rambler, you know, maybe there's some other way that you project that nervous energy, but they might perceive it as you being shut down or you being rather odd. So if you are feeling really nervous, why not say to them, hey, I haven't been dating in a really long time and this is all new to me and I just need to let you know that I'm actually a bit nervous about it. That's vulnerability and vulnerability is a great way to form a connection with someone and also show someone that you're able to be raw and real with them. Now, always make sure that you have your breaking case of an emergency plan. So by that, I mean, if you go out in the dating world and you're scared and you're feeling timid because it's all new and something goes wrong, maybe you rejected, maybe you were ghosted. These are all things that can happen, but not reasons why we shouldn't be dating. Make sure you know that you can do something to pick yourself back up. Do you have one best friend who's that fantastic person you can go to for advice and sit on the couch and have a glass of wine and eat some chocolate and bitch and gossip about it? You know, are you somebody who loves to get a blow wave or get their nails done? You know, make sure that you know that there is something that you can do that when you are feeling maybe a little rejected or maybe a little scared about the whole dating world, that you can get a pick you back up situation. That's why I call the breaking case an emergency. It's a pick you back up because you've got to be in it to win it. And it doesn't matter if it's a good experience or a bad experience, all experiences in the dating world will lead you somewhere. If you have a bad experience, it might teach you more about yourself. It might even teach you more about what you want. So make sure that you go out in that world, obviously armed with tools to protect yourself, not only physically, but emotionally, but also be open enough to get to know people and see what they have to offer. So I wish you all the best with that. Now, if you have an Ask Dr. Nikki question you want to ask me, jump onto Facebook and ask me anything. Okay, bye.